At the beginning of the very first lecture in this series, I was browsing through a network and clicked on one of the colored dots and selected the person named Sir Winston Churchill. This opened a new page with different bits of information being displayed about the person, like his birth date, death date, related persons, which we can see under the title associations here, and also related events. But when we look at what's under the hood for what's being displayed on the screen, it's basically data that looks sort of like this. Visually speaking, of course. We have facts or data related to other facts through clearly defined relationships. In other words, the data is explicitly connected. And that's the essence of knowledge graphs. And without going into any technical detail, all that this web application is doing is basically allowing us to visualize the data by reading it from the network of data, displaying it, and styling it. And this allows end users to consume the information represented in knowledge graphs. Here in this course, we'll use the terms graph and knowledge graph interchangeably. So as definition we're going to take with us throughout this series, we'll say that a knowledge graph is a network of facts connected via explicitly defined relationships from which new knowledge can be inferred. A knowledge graph may have an underlying structure, also known as a schema, and in the context of knowledge graphs, that schema is called an ontology. I'm conscious this is quite a mouthful of a definition, so for now though, let's park this thought about the definition and we'll dive into the details in the next section. So let's go through setting expectations for the course in the next lecture.